Hey guys, an update on my ATV fixing uh, the coolant has not gone as planned. So I rode the other day, uh, yesterday, 80 kilometers, and I didn't have any warnings, alarms, nothing like that. Uh, up here you'll see there's no issue with the, you know, nothing coming up. Uh, 85, I think it just said. That's what I rode yesterday, 85.4 kilometers. Uh, I'm going to open the coolant down here, and you know, this was on properly. We've tested and there was never a leak. We could never find a leak. I don't have a pressure tester but uh, for this, but you look down there, you can see all the way down there, there is no coolant at all. Now, I know the coolant is not stored in there. That's part of where it gets stored. But as far as I know, this black pipe here, it goes through there and it gets circulated through uh, the system as far as I know. So that part should have been full. I had the ATV uh, in you know, raised at the back by 30 to 40 centimeters high in the air. And I did that. Then I would run, bring it down, run the system for about 10 minutes, uh, let it cool down, re-raise it, filled it. And I did this over and over till it was completely full, like where I could run it for 10 minutes, open it, and it was full. So everything was pretty much fine. Um, the only thing that isn't fine in this whole entire thing is this is the overflow pipe here. And what ends up happening over time is I'm assuming, or at least what I thought it was, was this would, when there, you know, there's too much liquid or whatever, um, it would end up going into it. But maybe I was wrong. Let's see if I can jump off of this trailer without killing myself. But uh, here. <sighs> this is depressing. I don't have money to get somebody to look at it. But anyways... Um, goes to the bottom of this, and this is sort of the overflow container. And as far as I know, it works as a two-way street. So when there's not enough coolant, it can come back into the system. I'm not sure. Or maybe it only works as an output if it's just too full. Um, where is it? There it is. But either way, I did open it up enough for it to work. But uh, I don't know. It's just not working. <laughs> You can see the liquid in the pipe going in the bottom. And is this full to the top? Oh my. Oh, never mind. It's full to where I had it. I did it halfway. You're supposed to have it a little further down, but if we put the light to it there, you can see the green there. So it's halfway. <sighs> Either way, guys, um, I've tried and tested everything. The coolant is definitely not going into the engine. I'm pretty sure of it because there's like two or three reasons you can tell. If you drain your oil, you'll see it like in there. It'll be on top like a water or a liquid. The other way is you would see white smoke coming from the back of your exhaust because it would smoke. Not only that, there would be a maybe a sweet smell to it. We've checked the leaks. There has never been a leak with it. I've checked it multiple times for leaks. Um, I've never been able to see a leak, even when it's very hot. I would sit it there on a, you know, a dry pavement. I may have hit a splash there, here and there, but there was never a leak. And I even tried, you know, like when I saw some water dripping. Anyways, I would like take some Kleenex out, and I would put it under it, and check see if it's colored or if it smelled or anything. And it was just, you know, dirty water or whatever dripping from certain parts, like, you know, how it sits under the skid plate and stuff like that. But I checked over and over and over, and I cannot find a leak, and I'm pretty sure it's not going into the engine. Yet, to me, when it looked empty there for you guys, that I'm pretty sure is supposed to be filled all the way to the top. So either I'm wrong about that, or maybe this here has a huge effect to it. But honestly, even if this had a huge effect to it, and this is filled halfway where I manually filled it, where the hell did all the other coolant go that was already into the system? Because it didn't pour in here because this would be a lot higher. So I don't know what to say. Does it, does it ever go to the top? Does it stay full there? Maybe it sits in the system more? I could add more coolant and see what happens, but... From what I'm seeing, it's just vanishing out of thin air, and I really don't know what to do anymore because I really can't afford somebody to take it apart. And at this point, um, if it's just vanishing out of thin air, it has to be going in the engine. Can the engine be hot enough to burn it right away so it doesn't kind of show up uh, at all in the 
Like that's what I don't know. Maybe it's evaporating. That's why you can't see it in the oil and stuff. Um, even if we were to pull out the, well, it's a pain to do it here right now, but even if I were to pull out the oil stick, you won't see it above the oil stick itself where the oil is. So <sighs> I don't know what to say. I'd like to hear people's feedback because I have no clue what's going on. Um, you know, I have a few people have talked to me, but you know, it hasn't been really helpful and it stayed really cold. Um, you know, I turn off the machine, turn it back on. So the fan came on the fan would last maybe, you know, 30 seconds to two minutes. It, it cooled down pretty fast. It could almost touch the components. They were pretty hot. They were, you know, like touching a hot, you know, leather seat in the summertime or whatever, but not enough to be causing any stress on the part. So overall, everything seemed to be cooling down fine. So I really don't know what the hell it's not hot enough to evaporate. So I'm not sure what to say. I really hope uh, you guys can give me some ideas and feedback. And the leak test kit, I guess it's like a pressure test or whatever. I just can't afford to buy one of those from, well, maybe I can. The one I saw was like at least $50 for it. And that's kind of expensive. Uh, probably cheaper than having to take it into a shop. But uh, I don't know. Hopefully somebody can give me some better ideas because I am lost. Thanks.